Greetings everyone. Today is March 16th of 23. In this video I will show you a method of propagation for a fig tree that has almost 100% success rate. And it is by air layering a sucker. Fig trees very readily grow suckers. This is one of the self-preservance characteristics of a species that in a case that they have a damage or dieback of the upper portion above ground from freezing cold temperatures or perhaps a fire, the energy that was stored in the roots will be used to grow new shoots that will form suckers. And very often the fig trees in nature will be as a multi-trunk or clump bushy style uh, form of a tree. When grown in containers, uh, usually these uh, suckers are removed and in my case I will remove them when they're very young, very small and if I need to propagate or make a clone of that tree I will then leave them and uh, propagate them. One thing to remember that's very important if you are going to propagate from uh, suckers is to know whether a tree that you have was grafted or not. So it is very important if you buy a tree from a seller to have their disclosure to let you know whether the tree was grafted. Us usually the grafting union is above the ground. But sometimes can be below the soil level, perhaps if the soil was uh, placed uh, above um, uh, that uh, union later when it was up at it. So it is very important to know, otherwise the sucker that you will propagate will be of the rootstock and not of the variety that you desire. So that's very important to know. Now I can possibly think or see two different possibilities when uh, propagating from a sucker. And this is a variety Harry's Crete. I had already made a a little bit of a work on this tree and uh, wasn't sure how will I propagate so I'm going to show you exactly what I did so far. First let's take a look at this sucker. Here it is. There was another branch that grew right here going upwards that I had removed already. The reason I removed this one was um, because it had the uh, signs of fig mosaic virus and although it was bigger and thicker I chose uh, that smaller branch that has a healthier growth and the apical bud is already pushing for new leaves. So I use this to stop uh, bleeding. Also it has a small fruitlet right there, small figlet. I'm gonna just remove this at this time. I want all of the energy now that's going to be uh, used from photosynthesis of these leaves to be used to grow roots, regrow roots in this area. So let me just first talk about these possibilities that you're going to have. First one is when the sucker is growing on a root of a mother plant. Let's say there was a root right there growing from underneath the soil level of this mother plant like this. Let's say it was like that. And the sucker was formed on a root and then grow, grew up. In a case that this sucker is at least I would say two inches, three inches will be even better. We can basically just use a saw uh, and prune the that root halfway between a mother plant and a sucker. We don't want to use a pruner right next to the mother tree because we're going to use that uh, root to regrow uh, new uh, roots and not damage or uh, possibly weaken the mother tree. So there will be a first possibility. The second possibility is when we are uncovering the soil level here and I already did and I found that this sucker has grown from the trunk 
of this mother plant. And very often this happens when the tree is propagated by cuttings. In a case that the cutting had uh, many nodes at a bottom area, those nodes are the places where the suckers will be formed in the future. So in this case, it will be very harder, hard to remove this sucker since it doesn't have a lot of root mass. It has uh, some hair, uh, like a very, very thin roots at, at, the, at the top, but nothing below. I already checked. So I'm going to use a method of air layering, pretty much the same as uh, air layering on a branch above ground. But in this case, it will be at a soil level. So first I'm going to just place these roots underneath like that, cover them up. And I'm going to use this cup that I already used uh, on my air layers above ground. I'm going to just reposition my camera. Okay, for this I'm going to need a grafting knife. And uh, this is the area that I'm looking at. There is a node right there. So this is where the roots will be formed, just above this node right there. Just like in a regular air layering, I will remove a portion of a bark with foam and scratch the cambium layer and then place this cup and I'm going to use already prepared mix. I was planning this to use just in case I will remove a whole L layer. In that case I will have instant uh, small young plant tree. Alright, so right there I will probably go about half an inch below that node. and about inch. It's a little bit harder because I don't have much room. The tree now is actively growing so it will be easier to remove this bark. Okay, and now I'm gonna just scratch the cambium layer. This is now to stop the flow of the hybrid hydrates that a plant will produce by photosynthesis and this energy will be used now to regrow roots. Okay, I will also use rooting hormone and clonex is the one that I use mostly. I already had uh, pour some here. This is not necessary, but I like to use it. It improves the success rate. I will even put on a part that was cut, removed bark. I find that this kind of preserves as a, the wood from rotting. And now I'm going to slide this cup.
is by the way is a 32 ounce cup I'm gonna just make it a little bit bigger let's see yes doesn't have to be perfect I just made a bigger hole so it can go come closer to the trunk that's it And I'm gonna tape it up too at a, on the other side. Um, let's see. Okay, I think that's good. So now simply just fill in one of the benefits using these clear cups is that we can now observe roots how they are formed I also like to use a grow bag for this method however in this case I will remove it sooner uh, since the trees are very actively growing right now it doesn't need to stay in a, on a tree on a sucker for too long okay now I'm gonna use a cap they already cut this is to hold the sucker in the center just to make sure that it stays in place and that's it very easily I will also water this I don't have it with me right now but I will open this up and water it now the only thing I can do also is just to put this this is just uh, to preserve the roots when they are showing on a, on a side so not to get damaged by the Sun in this case they are grown indoor so I'm just showing this what you can do if the tree is let's say outdoor on the Sun and that's it we're gonna leave it like this in about four weeks observing you're gonna see some roots uh, that will be on the side reaching the side of the cup and then when they are starting to circle at that uh, moment I will remove them so about maybe six seven weeks or so and the job is done thank you for watching I hope that this was helpful have a great day